For my light base coat, I used Great Bone Spray, paint all of the armour panels with rack art flesh. This paint covers quite well, but I did keep it very thin, as it's the first step in painting on a lot of the model, to avoid any clogging of detail. Pick out the green areas with Death Guard Green. There seems to be a bit of variance in terms of the backpack and what to do here. I picked out the two kind of attachments at the sides. You could pick out a part in the middle. Whatever takes your fancy. And I know in some of the schemes it just remains the kind of bone colour. Uh, but I just think adding green to the backpack gives a bit more visual interest. Recess shade all of the armoured panels with snake bite leather contrast. I thinned this down a little bit with a bit of contrast medium, but it's actually quite thin to begin with, so as contrast paints go, it probably works well as kind of a wash. The other thing about this is the base coat that you have, the rack art flesh, is actually quite um, opaque, so it means any mistakes are easily covered. And actually throughout this tutorial, both in the green and in the armoured areas, any overspill of any other colours were corrected as I went. Shade the area between the shoulder pauldrons and the green armour with a mix of one to one Black Templar and Cree Camo. This might be the ideal colour, but I wanted to go quite a dark green, and Cree Camo alone just wasn't dark enough. Um, but a dark green paint or dark green wash would probably work just as well. Paint all the areas to end up either being black or silver with a baton black. So the entirety of the gun, the strapping on the chest, the cabling, many of the wires like in this example on his right leg and the undersuit between the power armour panels. Paint on the bronze areas there with Balthazar gold. So this is the shoulder pauldron edges themselves and the rivets or the ball things in his leg. They probably have a technical name, but if anyone knows it, I'm all ears. Paint all the silver areas with base coat of iron hand steel. When it comes to the big details like on the gun, paint the entirety of it. But I find that things like the kind of wiring in the backpack and the strapping to actually take off most of the paint and almost dry brush this gives a more stark contrast because otherwise the non-oil doesn't really give much of a definition on them. Um, and any spill into the recesses is going to be corrected by the wash anyway. Shade all the sub areas now with non oil.
shade all the Balthazar Gold brass areas with the Agrasar shade. Again, in this, there's a huge amount of it. Some of the shoulder pauldry edging on these models is a lot more ornate. This one in particular just has the kind of thin um, armour panels. But again, it just gives a bit more interest to the colour and allows for a highlight of the next step. highlight all the silver areas with Stormhole Silver. Edge highlight all the bronze areas with Psychorax bronze. Edge highlight the back areas first with an all round edge highlight of Eshin Grey. As always, use the edge of the brush where possible. And for this, it's mainly the gun and then the under panel of the armour. On this model, at the back, there's a fair bit of it, but actually, in the front, you can't really see this undersuit, so don't spend too much time on areas that can't really be seen, particularly for troops. pick out dots of edge highlighting with the administratum grey on the black areas. So this is any of the sharp corners, but also any of the rivets. And there's a few of these kind of dotted around the gun. Just to give a second um, brightness to the two-tone grey. Welcome to the longest step. Um, this again is as I quite like doing on the power armor is to edge highlight all the edges. I would have been a big fan of heavy metal back in the day, so this is kind of the, the style I go for. For troops, it's probably overkill, but again, for, for my interest in painting, I think getting the edges to pop really does sell off the power armor. So, really picking out all the edges using the edge of the brush there where possible, but a lot of the areas in this model you just have to paint straight lines. And remember, you can always correct with the rack art flesh any thicker lines or any overspill.
edge highlight the green areas um, with Nurgle and Green. I mean, with edge highlighting, there's actually many edges here. There's kind of the inner part of the green backpack parts, but also I ran a line of the lighter green between the recess shade, green camo and black templar on the shoulder pauldrons. Seems to be a style the Games Workshop use and does actually make the panels more interesting. start the eye lenses, paint the entirety of the lens with Mephiston Red and in this model because snake bite leather is quite dark you don't really need to shade this down anymore. In other tutorials I paint the entire area black but I think the outer edge being a brown colour suits the Death Guard. Paint the front half of the eye lens with Evil Sun Scarlet. into the front quarter of the lens with Fire Dragon Bright. Paint a dot of flash gets yellow right at the front of the eye lenses. And paint a dot of white at the back of the lens to complete the effect. And this is the finished result. If you like this video, feel free to check out the channel where I have numerous other tutorials, and please consider subscribing if you want to be kept up to date.